Today I'm going to teach you how to create a retarget advert like a pro using the Pixel Perfect app. So when visitors have been to your store, they may have added something to cart, but they didn't buy, they just they disappeared. And there can be any number of reasons for that. Um, typically what I see on my store is people browse on a, on a mobile or a cellular device, so maybe they're on the way to work in the morning, they're, they're nosing through things on the phone. And then when they get home in the evening, they, they get the laptop out to the iPad or whatever, and they, they go back and they, they have a look through. So retargeting can be a really powerful way of jogging the memory of uh, people that have been to your store getting to come back and purchase. Uh, and there's a number of features in the Pixel Perfect app that absolutely allow you to nail this, and I am going to show you one of them today. Uh, so the key thing with a retarget is to show the products to people that they're interested in. Uh, so if you have a pet store and you have cat products and you have dog products, there's no point in showing the cat products to people that like dogs and there is no point in showing the dog products to people like cats. It's it's a waste of your money. And a typical retarget advert using retarget app or something like that will just show all products to everybody um, and 50% you know, of your money is wasted. So here's how to kill it using the Pixel Perfect app. So you can see I've got uh, here niche specific retargets. This is my own store, Kaylee's Boutique, uh, and I sell chemises, bras, briefs, thongs, hold-ups, stockings, night dresses, tights. And the theory is that if somebody is interested in nightwear, you know, they want to buy a robe or a dressing gown or pajamas, they're not really interested in a pair of tights, and they're not really interested in buying. Um, some briefs or bra, you know, they, particularly at Christmas uh, when people are buying gifts, you know, they, they want nightwear, so they want to see nightwear. Uh, so let me show you how we do that. So the, the first thing we want to do is to basically target people that looked at nightwear but, but never bought nightwear. Nothing else, just nightwear. And you will need to build up uh, a number of these adverts for each specific niche. So you can see I've got chemises, briefs, bras, hold-ups, nightdress, tights. Um, so if you're a pet store, you need to do a cat one, a dog one, a budgie one, uh, you know, what, whatever pets there are. So the first thing I'm going to select here is placements. Um, and I've got rid of automatic placements and I've got manual placements. So I've lost Instagram, I've lost the audience network, I've lost Messenger. So I am just going to retarget on Facebook. You can see the, the estimated daily reach is, is really low. It's, it's, it's nothing. But I don't want the other 1,500 people that, that had a nose through my store. I only want the people that specifically looked at the product's nightwear. And when you take Facebook audience attribution and, and whether or not it can uh, tie up somebody on Facebook to somebody that looked at your store, those numbers come right down. So for every 100 people that looked at your store, Facebook may only be able to figure out who 50 of them are. And out of those 50, maybe only one or two looked at, at nightwear. So the numbers can come really low. But that's good because that means your audience is really razor sharp and it means you're paying less to target the people that are are interesting to you. Um, so your actual costs of showing adverts will come down, and the efficiency of the advert, that is to say the number of people that purchase, uh, will go up. So your actual cost of acquisition, cost of purchase, will, will come down, in theory. So don't don't worry too much about the daily reach. As you drive traffic to your site, so all the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that go to your site over time, um, these numbers will just build up. So d don't worry about it too much. So the first thing you'll see here is the promoted products are nightdress. So this is a catalog subset. It's a product subset of my catalog. Um, so my Facebook catalog has all of the products in my store in it. But I'm really only interested in uh, showing nightwear to people that looked at nightwear. So over here in my um, catalogs, you'll see these are all product sets within my, my catalog. So I've created a product set called nightwear. And using the Pixel Perfect app, which passes product type in the product feed, 
Um, I can select product type as pajamas or product type as nightdress or product type as dressing gown. So I can build up um, a subset of nightwear. And you can see the, the different numbers here you've got. Chemises has got 128 products. Briefs has got 205 products. Holdups and stockings, 109 products. Um, but only the only the products you're interested in. So looking at chemises, we built that up by saying if the product type is chemise, or the product type is cami, or the product type is teddy, we're going to create a, a catalog subset called chemises with just those products in. So going back to here, we've got a product set of night dresses, which has got 31 night dresses in it, just 31 night dresses. We're going to throw five bucks a day at it or five pounds a day in, in the United Kingdom. You don't need to spend thousands on it. And if you do, guess what? The advert will never spend it. And the reason the advert will never spend it is because it's only trying to get to 25 to 58 people a day. So if you put a budget of $1,000 a day at this, it will never, never ever spend that. It will spend a small amount of that trying to get to these 22 to 58 people. So typically, I leave my daily budget at five pounds, five dollars, whatever. Um, I let the adverts run all of the time and I don't schedule an end date. So here's the clever part. So the audience is viewed or added to basket but did not purchase in the last seven days. So basically people who have looked at a product page as opposed to um, page view, you know, any, any page or a collection or a blog or whatever, they've actually looked at a product which shows they're interested in the product. Um, in the last seven days, but they didn't buy it. Now, you can do add to basket, but not purchased. I tend to do viewed or added to basket. So they looked at it, but they didn't buy, as opposed to they just added it to cart and they didn't buy. You might want to fiddle around with these to see what's the best. Typically, seven days, I would say, is, is the, the window. If they didn't buy it in the last week, they're probably not going to buy it. So... Going down, you can also do some other powerful things like you can cross sell and upsell products. You bought this night dress, did you want a bigger night dress? You bought this night dress, did you want the slippers to go with it? You know, so you can you can do some powerful things with this. But this is just a retarget, so didn't buy, looked at it in the last seven days. Now we get on to the optimization. Now, one of the things that's really interesting is Facebook has a seven day or a uh, one day conversion window. Now, the window we want for this is the seven-day window. We don't want the one-day window because what, what Facebook will do is it will try and optimize the advert for people that saw a previous advert and bought it instantly. And, and that's not the game we're in. We're in the, in the game of retargeting of people who looked at something but didn't buy. They've gone away to think about it. And sometime in the next seven days, we hopefully they're going to buy so we've got a seven day window here for you, you know you saw the product in the last seven days and then we're going to set the conversion window also to seven days after clicking so after you clicked at it we want to try and optimize the advert to get people to buy within seven days because they're not going to do that they're out of it um, we're going to optimize for conversions on this one and the event type we're going to optimize for is purchase so this doesn't mean that Facebook will only charge you every time somebody buys, and it does not mean um, that Facebook will only display you the stats for people that purchased. What it means is Facebook is going to try and optimize this advert to display it to people who it thinks are most likely to purchase in the next seven days. And it will do that based on looking at all the other people that have purchased in the, in the last seven days and trying to figure out who the same people are and then show them the advert. You will still get charged every time somebody views it, and it will still class as a conversion when somebody looks at the product or goes to the website or adds it to cart. Or So you're still going to see all those other stats, but it is optimized for people that are most likely to purchase. I'm going to leave it to automatic bid. It's going to leave it to standard delivery. Job done. Um, and then I'm going to do the same for briefs and thongs, same for bras, same for hold-ups or stockings, same for nightdress, same for tights. So now all I have to do is to drive traffic at my website. And that traffic can be from anywhere. It can be organic. It can be from Pinterest. It can be from blog posts. It could be from links for other websites. It could be Facebook adverts. It could be whatever the hell you want. You just drive traffic at that website. 
People, some people will buy, and that's good. And you can have regular adverts that are designed to make people buy, and all you know, all the things you normally do with Facebook ads, all very valid. But what this will do is it will mop up the people that did not buy, and it will also mop up the people from different sources. So if somebody Googled my store, went to it, had a look at something, didn't buy. What this will do is when that person logs into Facebook later, they're going to see a retarget ad for it, despite the fact that they did not come to my store from Facebook in the first place. The caveat to that is they have to be logged into Facebook at the time that they view the store, so Facebook knows who that person is and it can add it to the audience. So for organic, if they're on a mobile phone, that's the way Facebook works. It stays logged in in the background doing all the things Facebook does, even if you're not viewing it. So if somebody is on mobile, it will tend to pick that person up and then retarget them later. Um, desktop, maybe not so much. Um, but you know that's, that's kind of how it works. And it's really effective. So you've got here six pence as a cost per conversion. Now, that's, that's not the cost per purchase um, or the cost per action. That's what Facebook classes as a conversion, which could be a view content, could be an ads cart, could be a purchase. We don't really know. But the numbers here are quite impressive. Bearing in mind the audience size is quite small to start with. It's pretty cheap to do, although there's some quite heavy spend going on here. But it's targeted, so it's only targeting the people that looked at the product that you're displaying. And it's effective, because if those, pe those people weren't interested in that product, um, they wouldn't be seeing the retarget ad. Really good way of doing things. You can do it by niche using Pixel Perfect. So you can tag products, you know, cat or dog. So you're just showing cat products to cat people, just showing dog products to dog people. Or you can do it as I've done by product type, brass, chemises, briefs, and it's optimized by people who have shown interest in purchasing the niche specific product in the past. So that's how to retarget like a boss using the Pixel Perfect app. Forget retarget app, forget shoelace, forget all these other things. It's really straightforward to, to do this yourself. It is really effective to do this yourself. As time goes by, you will see the results get better and better and better. So as Facebook learns more about who's buying what and who's looking at what, it gets more effective at retargeting those people. Um, so the cost of the sale will come down the cost of the adverts will come down and typically in my experience this is three times more effective than just a standard retarget ad like retarget ad we just show anybody anything just try and retarget them back to your store three times more effective um, really good way of doing things pixel perfect app niche retargeting um, yep yeah, hope that was interesting just a little PS to that uh, that video I forgot to tell you some of the basic stuff. Uh, the advert is a carousel ad. It is a dynamic product ad using carousel. So what you will see is a product subset. And using the example I gave, you will only see chemises in the carousel, for example, or you will only see night dresses in the carousel. And further to that, Facebook will work out what you have seen in chemises or um, night dresses and redisplay those as a preference. So if you looked at a black chemise, that's what you'll see in the carousel, and then you'll see four other chemises. Uh, and the other thing I didn't show you that I wanted to talk to you about quickly is the relevancy score. So clicking on chemises and going over here to relevancy, you'll see a relevancy, whoops, a relevancy score of 10, which means people love my ads. Uh, and it's and it's as good as you can get and you'll see really high relevancy scores with these retarget adverts the reason being because they're absolutely relevant to uh, to your customers because they've looked at them before they've shown interest in the product before and they're showing interest in the product again so it's really relevant to the customer so you'll see some uh, some crackingly high scores all nines or all tens uh, it should be mine are a majority 10 with a few nines um hope that was helpful. That is carousel dynamic product ads used for retargeting.